this is a furniture flip video. Bedroom furniture that I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace. It was the exact style that I wanted and I didn't care about the color because I'm Anna, this is home culture and this furniture is getting a makeover. I'm surrounded by furniture that's been stripped down and ready to be refinished. Let's go back in time to see what it took to get to this point. To start, I washed all the furniture pieces with warm water and Mr. Clean. The furniture wasn't as much dirty as it was just that the finish was washing off. So in a way, I already started stripping the finish with water. This was really noticeable on the top of the dresser. I also removed all the hardware, which I plan to refinish in a different color. Whatever I'm stripping, I'll be taking back to bare wood with chemical stripper. The rest will get roughed up with 220 grit sandpaper. I previously made a video comparing different chemical strippers. And in this video, I'm using them all up. So you'll see different types of goop being used. I cover the stripper with Saran so it doesn't dry out. It needs to be wet to do its job. It is such a messy job, but so rewarding. I'm done stripping the drawers. There's some in the garage, they're already dry, they're waiting to be sanded, and there's some out in the sun sitting over there just sun tanning for now. My last bit of stripping on this furniture is just the top here. And then I can move on to sanding down the sides with the 220, and then I have the side table to do, the mirror, and the headboard. Not a lot, just, just a few pieces. The drawers cleaned up so well. I got down to bare wood and it looked brand new again. The top was a totally different story. I just could not get those stains out. I've been piling everything in this room. Every piece of furniture that I sand and finish has been put in here. Pillows, blankets, anything that I thought I wanted in this room. Decor, I don't know, I just keep throwing it in here. And now I can't move around in here. And I'm supposed to paint and stain all the furniture in here because it's winter, like Canadian winter outside. So I need to make myself some room, like really quickly. a lot of work and now the fun can begin. Today I'm focusing on painting all the carcasses, the bodies of the furniture, and I'm using Fusion's Little Lamb, a rather appropriate name for bedroom furniture, don't you think? Originally my plan was to stain the tops, but the dresser is pretty damaged and only the edge is real wood. This part here is faux wood. Okay fine, it's particle board. So the whole thing is getting painted. Time for some late night painting. I want to get a second coat on so it can dry overnight. And before I do that, I notice there's a couple little rough spots, so I'm gonna do a little touch of sanding, and then the second coat, and then go to bed. Good morning! The second coat looks so good. Until you get up close, let me show you. Can you see how the paint is a bit rough in some spots? Uh, in most of the spots. Well, I don't like that and I'm gonna get rid of it with some wet sanding. 
Got some water here and a sanding sponge. And all I need to do is get it a little bit damp and then go around in circular motions. And then wipe off the excess. Oh gosh, it's so much smoother already, wow. So I'm gonna do that to the whole piece. Well, the whole surface. Final step for the carcasses or bodies. I'm going to seal them. Painting is all done, so I can move on to staining. I am staining all the drawer fronts, but before I stain, I am going to apply some wood conditioner and then probably three coats of stain. I did do a little table in another video, you can check that out, and I did three coats on that table and I want it to be about that color because that table is going to be in this room too. So pre-stain or wood conditioner and then lots of staining. Before I start, I wanted to show you what stain I'm using. It's Classic Grey by Verathane. Time for the last step. Ooh, no, it's not the last step. Last step's gonna be handles. This is the second last step, which is applying some finishing wax. These are the original handles. I do plan on reusing them, but they need a really good clean and a coat of spray paint. After a deep clean, I spray painted the handles with carbon mist. It has a bit of a sheen and a slightly metallic finish, and it looks beautiful. Originally, the furniture had the handles in this position. Anna and I really don't like it this way. So we're gonna place them in that position. I think it's fun to go back and see the before. It's always way worse than I remember. I got this furniture for a steal. And if I factor in the cost of the paint and stain and everything to refinish it, I spent only about $200 Canadian for the entire bedroom set. That's awesome. This video is a follow-up to last week's where I set up and styled this guest room. I'll leave a link to that video and I'll see you soon with another project. Bye. It was the exact style that I wanted. And the color, what did I want to say about the color? And I didn't care. I'm standing, ex crouching exactly like this so I can hide the lawnmower. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, so there's a lawnmower behind me and a car over there and a snowblower there. So I'm just trying to minimize the distraction. Do, 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 okay. <laughs>